Let's have a look at exercise 10D. And we're going to start obviously with number one and do them all. Okay, here's number one. Merle and Misty each have 5,000 euro to invest and Merle invests her money in a bank that pays 4.5% simple interest and Misty invests her money in a bank that pays 4.4% interest compounded annually. Calculate who has more money at the end of 15 years. Set up your columns. Use this formula over here. We see that PV is the same for both. Interest rates different, 4.5% simple, 4.4% compound interest, and it's annually, and the number of years is 15. Okay, so here we're going to use the simple interest formula here. It's the initial money, so it's the present value plus 15 times 5,000 times the interest rate, and that's 5,240 euro. Over here, we're using this formula up here. We get 9,538.44 euros. Misty has more money after 15 years. Let's have a look at question two. Visay invests uh, La or Kip. That's money probably from Laos. 500 million in a bank that pays 3.2% interest compounded annually. A, calculate how much Visay has in the bank after eight years. B, determine how many years it will take for his money to double. Okay. So A, calculate how much money he has in the bank after eight years. The present value is 500 million. Interest rate's 3.2. And for eight years, and we come up with that. 643,291,158.90. Make sure you've got two decimal places. B, determine how many years it will take for his money to double. Well, the present value is 500 million. So doubling that would be 1 billion. 1,000 million, and 1,000 million equals 500 uh, million uh, times one plus the interest rate is 3.2. To find N, use the numerical solve or solve in your calculator and get 22.01 years. Question three, Sylvia invests UK pounds 4,500 in a bank that pays for R percent interest compounded annually. After five years, she has UK 5,066 pounds 55 pence in the bank. A, find the interest rate. B, calculate how many years it would take for Sylvia to have 8,000 pounds in the bank. I'm going to use this formula here. Okay, they told us the future value, 5,066 pounds 55 pence, and the uh, present value, 4,500. We have to find R. We know N was five years. Okay, so we then use numerical solve again, or solve on your calculator, 2.4, and then you need to write that uh, because they said find the interest rate, not just find R, interest rate is 2.40%. Okay, B, calculate how many years it will take for Sylvia to have 8,000 pounds in the bank. 8,000 is our future value, 4,500. We, we now know the interest rate was 2.4. How many years, again, calculator, Use solve function and we get 24.26 and they've upped that to 25. A little bit inconsistent in the book, but they've jumped that to 25 full years. Let's have a look at four. Sal wants to buy a scooter that costs 1,500 US dollars. He deposits $1,000 in a bank that pays 7.5% interest compounded annually. Calculate how long it will take before he can buy the scooter. Okay, we're going to use this. On this one, there we go. The future value is 1,500. That's what it costs. He wants to get to that. R is 7.5. The present day value is, uh, present value is 1,000. Put in the formula here. Use the uh, calculator for sol the solve function, 5.61. It will take six years before Sal can buy a scooter. Five, Hub invests 5,000 euro in a bank that pays 1.2% interest compounded annually. A, find out how much money he has in the bank after five years. Okay, that's A. And then B, he then removes the money from the bank, puts it in another bank that pays a high interest rate compounded annually. After a further, further, further five years, Hub now has that much in the bank, B, find that. Let's have a look at A first. Present value is 5,000. Interest rate's 1.2. Number of years is five. We put in the formula, we get 5,307 uh, euro and 29. It's nice to write it in a sentence like that. Okay, for B, the future value is 5,675.33. Present value is this one here. We just calculated that because he moved it after five years. So that's how much his present value is for the second part. And for a further five years, that's five. So we've put it all in here, which is from there. And we get, uh, using the solve function, 1.35 for R, 
And that again, we need to write it as a percent. I think it's asking the interest rate. So that 1.35, no, 1.35%. The second bank interest rate is 1.35%.